What is going on guys welcome back to another video now in today's video we are going to be taking a look at android 8.0.0 oreo for our beloved redmi note 4 yep this would be my first video officially for a redmi note 4 and as you can see we have the android oreo booted up over here now first of all before proceeding to this video yep i am going to show you how to install this but seriously guys as if today september 1 please do not install once it becomes stable and everything starts working such as the camera the volte and stuff i would be making a whole installation video for this rom but guys please just don't install it right now you can just admire at my redmi note 4 and just wait a bit and once everything has been completely made for our redmi note 4 i would make a video you can just follow that but as you can see finally we have this thing booted up now there are just tons and tons of bugs over here such as camera is not working the play services are crashing the bluetooth is crashing and still there will be people asking me devang is geo volte working well guys no we hardly almost like got it booted up on our redmi note 4 so yeah let's just get it started as you can see i have the pixel launcher over here we got the play store and everything working google apps and stuff this is one of the first lineage os builds yep it doesn't run on stock aosp oreo as we saw on the redmi note 3 this is in fact lineage os 15 but there is the only way you can know that it is lineage os 15 which is by going to the about phone and over here at the build number as you can see lineage mido that's one of the first builds for the lineage os over here but as you can see if you go to the phones it's just extremely quick let me just give you a quick example as you can see nothing is running in the background and if i just tap on the settings button just look at this page bam there was no splash screen at all everything was just loaded up now some of the apps such as phone app also take like half of a second to load up like literally it's extremely quick as you can see this newer contact apps which is a bit heavy but let's just explore the settings app i hope i am talking slow some of you guys just get offended by my accent i know i just didn't went to any kind of high convent school just please understand that i'm just trying my best to share this but as you can see use fingerprint it doesn't work network and internet hotspot works wi-fi works then if you go to the battery as you can see the whole new ui over here kind of reminds me of the samsung smart manager you can turn on the battery saver turn on the battery percentage adaptive brightness yep auto brightness sensors are working if you go to display normal stuff audio is pretty simple it's like basically built for your moms and dads who don't know much about android but they do know about the normal brightness and wallpaper stuff but the advanced option is for you guys like expand it and you just have many options now also tap to wake ambient display fully working let me show you that one two there you go now display size in android nougat 7.1.1 you actually have five step but they have just reverted back to android nougat which is just sad i don't know but as you can see only three step i just go for the smallest and font size for the large there is no live display option over here because lineage os 15 is still not official if you go to the storage whole new ui again then you have the games tab and everything you also get the free up space over here i have 91 mbs of cache let's just remove that then if you go to security and location as you can see google play protect can be toggled through over here location again working it's just that bluetooth is not working over here and the camera fingerprint scanner i can live without that then in the system as you can see developer options i have been enabled in developer options you get the memory status pretty weird then if you go down you have the all new tab for quick settings developer tiles where you get four additional tiles and again if you still hold down this settings button it rotates in the background and then you can enable the system your tuner again if you go to system there is the only system your tuner enabled then in the system your tuner you get that navigation bar which is not currently enabled also the backlit keys are not working android marshmallow had one of the best easter eggs it was a pretty nice game then in the android nougat you have to just collect pussies which i have been collecting on my galaxy s8 i have made this joke on redmi note 3 i know but still as you can see i have so many pussies on my galaxy s8 there is one pussy in green over there but so many orchard and brown pussies i like it this is just a laggy like physics animation over here now let's just get to the installing of this rom i seriously don't recommend to install this rom as if right now but still let's just continue by powering off your device unlock your bootloader install any kind of twerp or red wolf recovery go to your top recovery by holding your power and volume up now be sure to back up all of your stuff then just go to the wipe advanced wipe dial v catch system data and normal catch no need of internal storage or the micro sd card as if now swipe to wipe then again go to install then just search for your rom as you can 
can see lineage os 15 swipe to flash and these devices are so damn fast earlier i had to wait like one to three minutes now it's just happening in front of my eyes there you go under a minute you have upgraded to android oreo that's just unbelievable and you don't have to reboot system as is now there is one bug that it encrypts your system without any kind of password or any kind of login that's pretty weird but to resolve that you have to go to wipe format data and type yes as this is the only option which removes the encryption from your internal storage and it will just format everything which is kind of sad but yeah that's what you're opting for as if right now september 1 go to home reboot system do not install and done and then again just in like 30 seconds the whole android oreo has been just booted up as there is no setup there is no g apps but if you unlock as you can see there is this bluetooth error over here in order to remove that just quickly head to the settings go to system go to about phone then just tap seven times on this build number you are now a developer which you are not of course and basically if you enable the developer option you will get this mute until device restarts and let's just tap that for a sec and there you go you have successfully booted android oreo 8 0.0 on your Redmi Note 4. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you found this helpful, please drop a like. See you in the next one. Peace.